I've written uh, my memoirs. Another way of saying memoirs is I've written an autobiography about my life. Now the question always is, why, why did I do this? Uh, why did I spend probably about two years uh, writing down uh, key events and feelings and impressions about my life? And I did that because, in a sense, I'm a transition person from the 20th century to the 21st century. Uh, I lived through turbulent times, interesting times. I would be dealing with defendants and with witnesses day after day, interrogating them about their role in Germany. Goering was a very vain man. I met a young woman who was a court reporter whose home was in Hawaii. By writing it down, you leave a legacy. Uh, it's something that you can refer to. Uh, the alternative of not writing it down is that these events, these experiences evaporate huh? and they're gone. I was born into a, a middle class family, the youngest of three children. I was born in 1924, but in 1938, Hitler's Germany annexed Austria. The term is the Anschluss. My parents were anxious uh, to, to get me out of uh, Vienna and away from the Nazis. At that time, the British government has passed uh, a special law, a special permission for children to be allowed to, to come to England so my parents arranged for me to join what was called a kinder transport. What made it especially urgent was just before that, uh, something had occurred in Vienna that is called the Kristallnacht, uh, the night of crystals of broken glasses. As a revenge for the assassination of a German diplomat in Paris, Hitler and Goebbels and the Nazi leadership announced that there would be a period of revenge uh, where Jewish synagogues and stores uh, would be smashed, uh, windows would be broken, and people would be arrested and hauled off to camps. So I joined uh, the Kinder Transport and arrived in England in the winter of 1938.